Many people are thinking Ashes of Creation Alpha 2 is likely in 2024, but with each passing live stream, I am beginning to think Alpha 2 in 2025 is more of a reality than people think. This is not a prediction by any means, I just want to potentially reset expectations a little bit. Why do I say 2025 is possible? Well, most of it is the limited amount of things we continue to see each stream. We continue to see very low level characters in each stream. Level 15 is usually the character level every single stream. We see the Riverlands every single stream, and we have not seen any other A2 map other than a cinematic for the desert biome. We see a lot of things that lack polish. For instance, in the node stream, we saw several glitches. We saw a lot of low level items that are missing icons, and we saw very limited functionality within the node. What we saw in the node stream in the actual gameplay is a very, very small amount of what the actual functionality of nodes is said to be. We did not see the nodes level up and the animations that go with that. We only saw level three node again, which is what we saw in Alpha 1. For the Freehold stream, while the Freehold looks fantastic, we didn't see the UI for building your Freehold. We didn't see the building animations. We just saw a static Freehold that was pre-placed. And there are entire systems and archetypes we haven't seen at all, at any point in development. Some of that doesn't matter for Alpha 2 launch, as things like the naval systems are confirmed to not be in at the launch of Alpha 2. Now some of you are probably saying they're just trying to not spoil things. That could be a part of it for sure, I have no doubt about that. But I actually do not see how showing another small area of a new zone would necessarily spoil anything at this point. We're showing a small segment of level 35 gameplay instead of level 15, since level 35 is said to be the player level cap for Alpha 2. Maybe they're not showing higher level gameplay because it is still a long ways from being ready to show. When the low level items are not even fleshed out yet, I think the higher level content could certainly be in an early state. Which means Alpha 2 might be further away than people think. To be fair, Steven really didn't give a date. In the March livestream, the YouTube comment asked the Alpha 2 question. Steven said Alpha 2 is not right around the corner, but it is also not years away. This is very vague, but could mean anything from one year really to anything less than two years. So two years from March 2023 is March 2025, and that could still fit within the very vague window that was given. In the past, Intrepid did give out a few roadmaps and dates, and for the most part, these dates were not met. In fact, at one point, Alpha 1 was supposed to be in 2019. That was pushed back several times before it actually happened in mid-2021. After that, they stopped giving hard dates, which probably was the right move. Does it actually matter that much if the Alpha 2 is not until 2025? Probably not, but there are a few factors to consider. One, I do think Intrepid is probably in a good place financially. But while Steven Sharif is obviously a very wealthy man, he doesn't have infinite money and the production costs with them being over 150 developers now, which was confirmed in the latest live stream, is quite high every single year. With Alpha 2 packs ending, the only revenue source for Intrepid will also be ending. So that is a factor. This is not an existing studio with an infinite budget to continue throwing at the project. This is instead a project with a large amount of funding, but not infinite funding. The second factor is competition. Petition. When Ashes of Creation was first announced, there were not a lot of new MMO projects on the horizon. Now there are over 40. Many of them are not threats in any way, and many of them are not even really MMOs, but a few are real threats. And no, I don't view the Riot MMO as a huge threat even though I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me. I don't view the Riot MMO as a direct competitor to Ashes just as I don't view WoW or Final Fantasy as a competitor. Ashes is a very, very different game from those games. However, there are a few projects that I think are looking at attracting the same niche of players that Ashes is. Most notably for me are Arcage 2 and Pax Day. Pax Day confirmed the first public alpha testing this year and Arcage 2 claims a launch date next year. Arcage 2 launching next year does seem like a long shot, but they have lowered the scope a tremendous amount from Arcage 1, which took seven years to develop. So it's possible they could launch in a four-year window, considering they have many of the same experienced developers developers that they had on the previous project. Either way, the main thing for Intrepid is just to have a good game. Not much else matters. Yes, having little to no competition, in theory, is better for them. But that is not likely to be the case. First mover advantage can be a big thing at times, but sometimes it doesn't matter at all. In this case, Intrepid is likely to not be the first MMO of its type to launch. 
So the focus just needs to be on making a good game because more often than not, MMO launches do not meet that basic criteria. If they do that, I think they will be fine. Let me know what you guys think. Does Alpha 2 launch in 2024 or 2025? Thanks for watching to the end and I'll see you guys in the next video.